leave my audio on for at least Whoa! what the heck in today's video we're going to try all the things it says not to do on the back of a can of spray paint Hey guys, before we start the video, we have a quick announcement. For those of you who missed out on our subscription kits a while back, we have some good news. All of our kits are now available in our shop. The laser assisted blowgun, the spy scope, the micro crossbow, and others. The kits come with everything you need to build the project, so go ahead and hit the link in the description to go check them out. Guys, we use spray paint for all sorts of stuff, mostly painting. Usually. In a spray pattern. It's pretty great stuff. Spray paint has a lot of warnings on the back though. Things it says you aren't supposed to do. There are so many warnings. Like the warnings take up more than the instructions do in a lot of languages, but still. True. Now we're not necessarily going to do all the things because some of them are like, don't breathe this in. It will make you sick. And we agree on that. We don't want to try don't that. Don't need it. Yeah. So there's a lot of things it says not to do on the back of a can of spray paint that to me just sounds like a list of really fun things to do. So uh, we're going to try some. Two. Nice. I love that. All right. Well, that's one thing you're not supposed to do is make a small flamethrower out of it. Have you ever seen those street artists who like make cool spray paint art, like planets and stuff? They often use like burning spray paint to sort of dry it out really quick. That's pretty neat. Uh, yeah, that's one thing you're not supposed to do. Let's do some more. All right. What should we try out first? You seem to have an ax in your hand. Yeah. Are you thinking we should? Axe chop these? I'd axe you, but I I'm holding it. That was terrible. What do you want to do first? I'm gonna... Uh, first, let's, uh, let's put some paint suits on because I think a lot of things we're gonna do are gonna end up sending paint flying. I absolutely agree. I have exactly one complaint about this. It's 95 degrees outside right now. It's like 80. No, it is not! Yeah, it is. <laughs> Now, as always with the paint suits, it will affect our audio a little bit, so apologies in advance. Also, the fact that we'll be putting on, you know, face masks. That'll do it. Three, two, one. <laughs> what? There's some pink in the air. <laughs> that was amazing! You bent the sword. Quite a bit. You bent the sword! I'm going after that. You hit it, man. Okay. Oh, okay, you barely got the bottom. I think I actually nicked the beat. Okay, so as an explanation, part of why I'm so terrible at this, I was intentionally trying to turn my head so that I wasn't like, can I get this paint sprayed all over me? And I think I might have nicked the beam as I did it. But I also took out the can pretty well, sent it flying, and filled the air with pink mist. Neon violently pink mist. I'll just try not to look away this time so I can actually keep my aim on track. All right, here goes. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, still going. Well, the last one might've been more exciting. Um, except this one's still spraying. Yes, it is. Did you just nick this one? I mean, I hit it really good. Just chop it right there. Just chop it. Try again. Try again. You're the last samurai. Try again. I don't think my katana is working anymore. How did you break the... Woo! I poked it. <laughs> and the whole can is now covered in silver. Wow. Silver spray painted ground. Do you want anyone this who's concerned dead. about what we've just done? This ground gets burned and cleared off every year. So we're not hurting the environment. I promise we're gonna get a shovel. We'll clean that all up. You'll notice I'm not wearing my normal king of random glasses. That's because these cover more of my face. <laughs> and I really don't wanna be hit by paint. All right, you guys ready? Three, two, one. It was a bit loud. <coughs> you okay? Well, the paint suit mostly covered it. Your face looks untouched. Uh, I, uh, hang on. Your cheeks, you got some on your cheeks. Oh, she did. <laughs> I hang on, hang on, hang on. I 
felt it hit me, guys. My arm was slightly uncovered. I'm very happy. These shoes, these shoes are retired, basically. Guys, you can see, I still have some bouncy ball material on them. You can see where they got burned at one point. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions of ways they want to see these shoes go out in a blaze of glory, you let me know. Oh no, Nate! Look at our poor GoPro! We have subjected our GoPros to many things over the years. This may very well be the worst. Uh-oh, it's already kind of dry too. Okay, well, some turpentine maybe? Maybe. Bye, GoPro! So, this is kind of cool. You guys have seen us cut open multiple cans in the past. Uh, canned air, Silly String, Cheese Whiz. There's nothing in here, do you see that? So that's how you know that it was just a full aerosol propellant. What's next? Three, two, one. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Woo! Did it hit you? Yes, it did. Where? On my shin. I'm so sorry. My right shin. That didn't explode quite the same way as the last one. The can traveled sideways, ricocheted off of my leg, and continued on to right there. It didn't go very far. I'm betting you got a bruise. Very possible. I stood very far away because my glasses are now ruined. So yep. that wouldn't have been safe. Guys, hey, if you were wondering why we're doing this to show you in a controlled environment, don't do this. It's dangerous. There's a reason those instructions exist. All right. so. One other thing that I actually really wanted to show with the inside of these, I'm fairly certain there's a straw that got lost in the nonsense. However, a lot of the time when you get a paint can, there will be a little black dot. You see right here, this little black dot. Sometimes red. Yeah, so that's lined up right here. And if you look on the inside of the can, you can see that the straw was kind of angled that direction. And I'm pretty sure that that's intentional. So. If you are tipping the can, then it's going to pool down here at the bottom. You know, if you tip it here, it pools here, tip it here, it pools here. That's how tipping in liquid works. Um, but the dot is designed to stay lined up with the angle of the straw, so that if you're pointing the can slightly down, you're going to get the most paint out of it because the propellant will keep feeding the paint right into the straw down, lined up with that dot. So that's what the dot is for you aim the nozzle right at it. For most of the can, it probably won't make a difference, but once it starts to get low, if you had it backwards, then you would have the straw up here at the back and then just a pool of liquid being missed and you're gonna waste a lot of the paint in your can like that. And the propellant, it won't work anymore. All right, Nate is currently getting, <laughs> I say redressed. He didn't have his shoes on when he was cutting open that spray paint can because he likes his shoes. So he is off to the side. Mark is going to leave the dome. I'm going to light this and then I am going to run. We don't know what direction the shrapnel is going to go here. So this will give me several seconds to run and get to the other side of the dome. We will not be standing in the doorway. We will not be watching this. Everything that we're gonna see is going to be on the RX, the A cam, which will be positioned. Mark will not be there. So let's see what happens. So we did turn this can upside down. The reason that we did this is because we didn't want to do it on its side. That's not gonna be as interesting. We're trying to melt directly into it. If we were trying to pile all of the thermite into the spout itself, well, that's already domed up. It would have been very difficult to do. So there's a divot in the bottom of these cans. We mounded, kind of like a little sandcastle, the thermite into it. Stays upright. Fingers crossed. Let's see how this goes. Three, two, one. Maybe. Come on. Come on. There might slip. Go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That was interesting. Not what we thought was going to happen. Definitely not. Well, okay, there you go. There's our explosion. Yeah, it just pushed all the yes, thermite it off did. of it. Yes, it did. So it never tunneled. So it never tunneled down into uh -oh. the can. Like the thermite didn't end up inside the spray paint can. Looks like stars. It's so pretty. So the paint, as soon as the thermite went away, the paint was still propelling out, and it was just this gout of color, and it's still coming out of the dome. I'm gonna duck underneath it a little bit and just take a look at our can. Yeah, we've got a layer of green smoke. It's not smoke. It's vapor. Oh, that's so cool. I don't even know where the puncture is though. It was spraying out over here. Right there. So, yeah. 
Okay, not hot to the touch at all. Very cold, in fact, because... Just depressurized yes. so much. <laughs> depressurized with the accelerant. Yeah, the whole thing is cold to the touch. You can touch. actually, there's still a little bit of vapor. Yeah. You can kind of see it coming out right there. So it's not Chuck completely it empty. Chuck it at the wall. <laughs> there's a little left. There was. Next up, we're gonna take a whole can of spray paint and we're gonna put it in the deep fryer and see what that does to it. Not just the deep fryer, I mean, it's full of hot oil, so. Yeah, deep fryer full of hot fryer oil, yeah. This can is mostly full, not 100% yep. full. All right, drop it and run. Yep. All right, go for it. Run away, bravely, run away bravely. Leave my audio on for at least. Whoa! <laughs> what the heck? Woo! Holy cow! <laughs> the yes! front, it moved. <laughs> it moved. Okay, I'm not sure what is even saying. Well, look at the side of the container. Okay, I'm grateful that it unplugged itself. It did. That is a safety feature of deep fryers. They actually, just the slightest jostle will disconnect. Ah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Holy. This has deformed. It oh. completely changed the shape. This right here wow, used yes. to sit up on top of that. It did. Oh, what? oh, our poor camera. Uh, let's try and clean this off as soon as we can. It's actually like a deep fried paint kind of thing, and it's on there, but it's not painted it. It's Thank just goodness. like coated in oily drops of color. Let's get all of the cameras clean before we continue. Yeah. Guys, spray paint has warnings on it for a reason, and we were intentionally violating the things that it tells you not to do on the back of the can. We were puncturing it, we were chopping it, we were lighting it on fire, and we did those things knowing that they were dangerous so that you can see what happens. Although we were doing something inherently dangerous, we were trying to employ a few tactics to make it a little bit safer. We were always using fuses that gave us plenty of time to run away when we had the spray paint can in the hot oil. We had done similar tests with other things to know that it wasn't going to blow up immediately. We had time to get to a far safe distance. And on top of all of that, we made sure that we were somewhere where the noise wasn't going to bother anyone. There's no one nearby enough here where we are at the dome that the sound of our exploding paint cans is going to cause them any distress, any irritation. So we're in a relatively noise safe area as well. Hey Mark, did you want us to spray paint the dome? Guys, that's not all you know. We've always got more for you. See, click that box up at the top to check out our most recent video and we will see you in the next one. Talk to you then.